Hey everyone, it's Ananya here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you the journey from Joshima to Badrinath, one of the most scenic and spiritual destinations in India. Ye Joshima se kariban 45 kilometers hai and the road from Joshima to Badrinath is narrow and winding with several hairpin bends and steep inclines. So be careful if you are driving. Inexperienced driver ke liye ye thoda challenging hoga. Today it's day 3 and we are heading towards Badrinath. So we started off a little early today because the weather is pretty um, rough. It's raining out here and it's a little cloudy. So um, let's see. We stayed at Joshimat yesterday. So from Joshimat it's uh, like two hours of drive and we will reach Patrinath maybe around uh, 12. If you haven't watched my previous videos, you can check them out now. I have a link on the Just click on the link and it will take you straight to my earlier videos. So keep watching. but still the views are so good I mean the movement of the clouds over the hills are like so amazing so if you are like planning on for a long journey like this I would highly recommend that you stock up on some snacks and essentials beforehand because in the road there food joints or stalls it will be more difficult So we reached Badrinath and now I am walking towards the temple. So these are the local markets here. The town 
Mission of Badriyat is located at an altitude of 3,133 meters and it is one of the four pilgrimage sites in India known as the Char Dham. You can see the structure of the temple is so beautiful and it is made of stone and has a distinct pagoda style architecture. The temple is surrounded by mountains and the view is just stunning. We spent some time at the temple and then visited the Mana village, which is the last village on the Indian border. The village has a lot of historical significance and it is believed that the Mahabharata was written here. Mana village. So Mana village is an off-bit tourist destination located just 3 kilometers from Badrinath in the district of Chamoli. It is the last village of India on Indo-Tibet border. This is the perfect place for trekking. You can go to Vasudhara Falls, Swargarohini and Kesha Prayag. So this place is really amazing. a small market you can buy souvenirs from here on it you can spend some time checking out things here Darshan at Badrina and so we left from there and I have stopped here to this roadside stall because I'm super hungry so I'm gonna have um, some noodles or something like that. Okay so I just had Maggie and that's the safest option especially when you're traveling in or 
any remote area. So after visiting the Uttima Temple in the evening, we checked into this hotel at Karnaprayag. So we'll be staying here today and then tomorrow morning we will leave for Chopta. one of the most stunning valleys in India. This hidden gem is nestled in the lap of Himalayas and it's truly a paradise for adventure lovers. It's absolutely breathtaking. The valley is just so clean. This is definitely going to be one of those places that can stay with me forever. I'm having so much fun exploring this place. So I spent some time here interacting with the locals and got to know some interesting stories about their culture and traditions. And of course, I tried some of their local cuisines as well. So it's 5.30 in the evening and I've reached Tilbara after a long and tiring journey from Chopra. I think I'll take some rest and then head out to explore. I'm staying in this beautiful hotel that has a stunning view of the mountains and the river. So I will go there and explore a bit. I'm so glad I decided to come to this place. Then we'll be for a 